Hey everybody, welcome again to Castaway Cafe. This is day three, where we're going to look at God as our ruler. Now, how is God our ruler? Well, he runs our life, right? He encompasses our life. We learned about the three O's. He gives us strength. He handles everything that we need if we just go to him in prayer, right? So we're going to look at that. We're going to start with one of the greatest rulers. We're on an island, right? And there's a lot of water. There's a ruler in the water, in the ocean, and it's called a shark. And we're going to make some shark teeth. Yes, the ruler of the ocean is sharks. So we're going to make some shark teeth. We're going to need our bugles or corn snacks that shape like, shake like teeth. And we're going to need some powdered sugar, or I'm going to use, because this is what I like, some cinnamon sugar. Well, use the powdered sugar if you want to make white teeth. <laughs> if you want to make teeth that need some help, you can use some <laughs> cinnamon sugar. So you're going to also have uh, need of your pail again, and you're going to pour your bugles into your pail. Then you're going to take your powdered sugar, and you're going to sprinkle your powdered sugar over your bugles. And you're going to actually make shark teeth. Ta-da! They're awesome. Nice. I like it with the cinnamon sugar. All right. Next up, we're going to look at God as a ruler of the universe, the sun, the moon, the stars. We're going to make ourselves some sammies, some moon and star sammies or sandwiches. What you would need is the round bread like we had before and some cookie cutters shaped like a star or I found one that kind of reminds me of a cloud. So you're going to press down really hard. You're going to make your sandwich. This is a peanut butter and jelly and then this one is a cheese sandwich. You're going to press down really hard and you can ask your parents to help you and then after that you pop up your sandwich. Look, I made a star. And this one, I popped an up. I made a cloud. Look. Wow. That's awesome. Lastly, every ruler needs what? A scepter, right? Some king and queens, they like to use a scepter, which is like a, a rod that shows their authority. That's what we're going to make right now. We're going to use fruit. So you're going to need your fruit. What am I, might be a bag of fruit. I have blackberries and strawberries and cherries, but you can have whatever you want to have that you can put on one of these, which is called a skewer. You're gonna ask your parents to help you with this one because it's a little sharp at the end. And you're gonna take one fruit and you're gonna go one by one and put them on your skewer. And when you're done, you have a nice little scepter, what we're calling well, fruit rods, but we're going to represent that as the royal scepter. So, what is our question for today? What is the power rod called? I said it a few times. I don't know if you remember, but I'll say it one more time. So, the power rod is called a scepter. All right. So, I hope God is powerful and is the ruler in your life. Enjoy the rest of your time on the island.